Hey, this is Will with CVT. Today we're going to go over the assembly and installation of the Mount Baker and Mount St. Helens hard shell tents. The first thing to do is lay the box on its lid, cut the banding, open the box, and remove all the packaging and the plastic wrap from the bottom of the tent. It can be beneficial to leave the top of the shell covered by the plastic film to protect it from the scratching during the install process. For this next step, I cannot emphasize this enough. If you have metal latches, you have to push the button on the side to release it. If you try and lever it open, you will bend the mechanism inside and it will not work correctly. Now flip the tent over, keeping it on the cardboard. Remove the wrapping on the sides, still leaving the plastic film on top to protect the tent. Open all four latches. The newer style has a spring, clasp, and webbing. Find the silver clasp, press the button to release the jaw, and slide the webbing out. Now that you've released all the latches, give a slight lift to each end of the tent and let the struts lift the roof. Inside the tent you will find a ladder, a shoe bag with a small light and a bag of hardware inside, the spring rods, and an interior pocket, as well as some packaging that should be removed. Now that you have removed everything from inside, carefully close the tent. Make sure to tuck in all the fabric and that it closes evenly. A pro tip, to make it easier to relatch, you might want to slide the tent onto the lip of the box or where the friend lifted onto a small block or 2x4. This will make the latches more accessible. Now with the help of a friend, carefully lift the tent onto your vehicle. Now to prep the mounting hardware. Grab two sliders, two bolts, one bracket. Slide a bolt into each slider so that the hex head is securely in the channel on top of the slider. On one of the bolts, attach a bracket with a finger tight nylock bolt. Repeat this step three more times with the remaining hardware. As every build is unique, some of this will vary depending on your vehicle. If you need more specific questions, call us at any of our locations and our technicians will be more than happy to assist you. This video will show a standard crossbar setup. Insert the sliders without nylocks in each channel towards the rear of the vehicle. Lift the tent and push them both into the space between the bars. On both ends of each rail, insert a slider with a bracket. Slide it close to the crossbar and loosely attach it to the bolt on the other side of the crossbar with a finger tight nylock. Repeat this with all four brackets. When that is done, double check that the tent is centered and in its final position. This next step is very important. Apply downward pressure on the mounting bracket to keep the head of the bolt securely in the channel while you evenly tighten down each of the nylock bolts with the included 13 millimeter wrench. When they're all tight, the install is complete and we can remove the final plastic layer from the top of the shell. We always recommend that you set up your new tent in your driveway so you know how it works before you head out into the wilderness. Grab the ladder and the spring rods. Hook the ladder onto the bracket on either side of the tent and fully extend it. If it seems to be too flat to climb, collapse the ladder until all the unused steps are at the top of the ladder, that the angle is good, and the remaining steps are locked securely in place. Now with the spring rods, locate the opening behind the slit on both sides of the ladder. Insert the spring rod, gently bend it up to catch the grommet in the corner 
of the main door flap on both sides. Repeat this on the other side of the tent. Once that is complete, the tent is set up. On the inside of the tent, above either of the small windows, you will notice a strip of Velcro. That is where the interior pocket can be attached. You will also see a loop and a toggle at the center of each door and window to secure the rolled door flap and the window screen. To set up the Mount Baker tent, release the latches by opening the spring clasp or pushing the button on the side of the metal latch on the rear corners of the tent. Give the tent a slight upward push. Grab the ladder and the spring rods, hook the ladder onto the back side of the tent. If it seems to be too flat, collapse the ladder until all the unused steps are at the top of the ladder, the angle is good for you to climb and all the remaining steps are securely locked in place. Get the spring rod bag and locate the opening behind the slit on both sides of the ladder. Insert the spring rods and gently bend them up to catch the grommet in the corners of the main door flap. Once this is complete, the tent is set up. Thank you for choosing the Mount Baker or Mount St. Helens tent. If you have any more questions, contact us and welcome to the CVT family.